Barbies, it's your girl Britt Brack on live with the Breeze Hawk. And baby, we have to talk about this failed QC stripper ball party for the second year in a row. The girls got scammed again. So let's go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Baby, when I tell you the girls are pissed, they are pissed. They are ready to fight somebody. I mean, the girls even called the police because they were scammed out their money. Imagine having to pay almost $400 just to work, only to leave with $1,000. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. But y'all didn't wanna listen. Y'all did not wanna listen. Did Miami Tip tell y'all last year it was a bust, it was washed, it was ran piss poorly, the girls didn't make no money, the club made all the money, all those rappers and celebrities were there just to be there, to be in the presence. I heard the girls that really made the money was at the private football parties, baby. <laughs> Y'all hate to see it. I honestly feel bad for the girls because nobody gets dressed, nobody lays on nobody's doctor table to get the fat sucked out of their stomach to put in their ass to wear their Malaysian wavy to only make $1,000. I mean, after 14 hours, I'm liable to whoop somebody's ass myself. And oh, they had to wait until the club closed to get their money. All the money that was on the floor, it had to stay on the floor. But that's not the kicker. Girls were stealing stealing the men were stealing it was like a hood rat event i'm talking about the ghetto and i loved every moment of it let's take a look at these long lines of strippers waiting to get their money <laughs> Sex work is hard. Y'all was better off staying in your own neighborhood, your own city to get the bag, baby. Ooh, Miami, this is a horrible look. But I could have told y'all girls that. Y'all know what? If they didn't pay for you to come, you should have went elsewhere. Anything hosted by QC, anything, I would not have went. The niggas don't have no money. I mean, you got CEOP out here spending up their royalties, buying them cars, buying them watches, buying them teeth that don't even fit in their mouths. So you know they don't have no money. You know that. But let's listen to Miami Tip. Ooh, period. Now, can we talk about how these strippers got finessed at the ball once again? Once again, the only bitch that made it out with some motherfucking money was young Coco and some real money and that was it like i hope whoever went like i really hope they got some numbers i hope like they make they network they got some business contacts or something bitch i don't know because they ain't get no money who did your teeth i damn sure interesting interesting Bitch, shake, imagine shaking your ass for 12 to 15 hours. Having people feel on you, tell you bend it over, make a big cat bounce. <laughs> Where's that line from, baby? See, sex work ain't no joke. To all the girls that aspire to be like this, you might want to take a look. It's not as fun as it seems to be. The girls are mad. To see all the videos, make sure you follow me on the free apps. Would you be pissed? Would you be asking somebody, where's your money? Would you throw money? Do y'all go to strip clubs? Comment down below. I gotta go. Bye, hoes.